Naria, a border community between Kaduna and Niger states, has become notorious over the years for all forms of criminal activities ranging from kidnapping, armed robbery, rural banditry, cattle rustling, among others. It is also the same with Rigasa, where people are kidnapped at will. Recently, over 30 people were said to have been kidnapped from their homes by bandits who camp in a nearby forest. The residents also say the bandits sometimes kidnap travelers along the Kaduna Abuja Highway and hold them hostage inside their camp. The people are now living in perpetual fear, not knowing who will be the next victim. Many residents have fled their homes to neighboring villages. Most of the roads in the community are inaccessible, a situation that makes rescue operations difficult during emergencies. The state governor, Nasil El Rufai, in company of some top government officials, rather communities to commiserate with them over the unfortunate situation. Those who spoke on behalf of the residents highlight some of the challenges they are facing. <laughs> Governor El Rufai, while addressing the people, urged them to live in peace with one another, while the chairman of Igabi local government area calls on the residents to expose all criminal activities in their domains. So I came here to commiserate with this community, apologize to them for the pain that they have gone through, but with the promise that will continue to empower the security agencies to make this community safer. In addition to the efforts of the police, and I'm happy that the DPO has been commended by the community for its proactiveness and commitment. We are very proud of that. But in addition, we are going to arrange for the deployment of a military formation in this community to strengthen the peace. So we are synthesizing the people that the kidnappers are in the bush. It is within the community. Some people are taking the puts, drugs, and other things to them. So what we need from the people is information. Security agents and we, the government, we are not everywhere. But the people, if they will inform us by the grace of God, action will be taken. With the assurance by the governor to boost security in the communities, the residents hope that the promise comes to fruition soon so they will live again in peace.